morning, Polina. Morning, everybody. Morning, Polina. How are you doing? Good morning. Welcome to and thank you for joining us this morning for this wonderful meeting. We're very excited to see everything that you're going to be showing us about the property. This is fantastic. I can see already quite a few people joined. We do. We've got a few people. We're just waiting for a couple of others to join. So whenever you're ready, we'll give them another four minutes and then I will put it over to you so you can share the presentation with us. Perfect. That's great. Thank and you. It's very early for everyone. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when we get to see as amazing properties like this, we're definitely up and ready for it. Oh, fantastic. Thank you.
Okay, Paulina, I think we can probably start now. I mean, we say everybody can join as it comes in, but we're definitely able to start already. Uh, so everybody, this is Paulina. I'm sure we'll come to know about the hotels and everything like that. Um, we do thank you for your time again this morning, uh, Paulina. It is amazing to have you here. Um, and just for everybody to know, this is uh, Paulina, and she is from the SLS Dubai Hotel and Residence. So she's going to give us everything that we need to know about this. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. We're very excited for this, Paulina. Thank you very much for your time. That's amazing, and good morning to everyone. I see we have 20, more than 20 people, which is amazing. Thank you for your time and for joining us to learn today a little bit about SLS, what I hope that some of you might have already um, heard about the property. Um, it won't take too much of your time. I'm just going to go through the quick presentation, and then if someone has any questions, you can put them in the chat, or you can ask directly um, after we go through all of the uh, slides. So before I will start telling you about our hotel here in Dubai, I'm just gonna give you a quick brief about actually who we are and where, where we are coming from. Um, you probably know that as Atalat Hotels, we are part of a core uh, chain, but we are part of their lifestyle brands. Um, since 2018, Accor has been collaborating with the hospitality management company originated out of UK, um, and it's more, which is currently the largest uh, hospitality lifestyle um, company. Uh, and and it's more is basically helping Accor to take care and manage all of their lifestyle products. Um, Accor has a vast variety of hotels currently, more than 800. Um, and now they are uh, specializing in the lifestyle brands as well. And this is where Ennismore is assisting them in taking care and managing. Um, it's uh, basically, as you can see, a global collective of a lot of really cool brands. And as a lifestyle, it all revolves around creativity and experiences. Um, currently, at the umbrella of Ennismore and the Accord, we have uh, more than 100 brands. There's another 141 hotels in the pipeline. And Ennismore, as a brand, a part of hotels, they also operate uh, restaurants. Um, uh, and just a few of the brands that I will introduce you later, I'm pretty sure you're going to recognize as well. Uh, so being part of lifestyle, we basically focus more on experiences. Uh, this is all about art, entertainment, fashion, design. As hotels, we do not just give you accommodation. It's a lot more that we provide for your guests. Um, the core essential of lifestyle would be to bring the locals because, you know, normally where the locals go, the rest will follow. The locals are normally the one who sends the trend. And that's what we are trying to do here at SLS in Dubai as well. Uh, we are always very different when it comes to um, art, to expressing ourselves. Um, even in the way how we hire people, we give them a lot of empowerment. They're free to be themselves. Uh, you will see us even in the dress code that we have in our lifestyle products, uh, starting from the top management. This is not your regular corporate hotels where you will be wearing uh, you know, black ties and suits. It's uh, jeans and jackets and colorful dresses. So one word, it's very, very lifestyle. Uh, so here you can just see some of the brands that we have our under umbrella of Ennismore under a core, and these are all our amazing uh, lifestyle products. Uh, you would know uh, some of our brands, SLS, Mondrian, Delano, Mama Shelter, 25 Hours, Tribe, Hyde, um, and many, many more. Uh, currently in the Middle East, in Dubai specifically, we have four brands, which is SLS, 25 Hours, Hyde, and uh, So Hotel. Um, as well as under our lifestyle portfolio, we have uh, Rixus Hotels, and currently, um, recently taken, is Banayan Tree. Uh, in Dubai, we're going to be operating Caesars ho Hotels. You must probably have heard already. This is going to turn into Banayan and Banayan Tree and my son Delana. And apart from that, we have also a lot of really amazing chains of restaurants. So it's a very, very, uh, very interesting, very quickly developing um, company for the uh, lifestyle products. 
This is just some of the key openings that we had in the past years, since 2022, uh, and there is many more coming up in the pipeline. Speaking spe specifically of SLS, for example, we are currently the eighth SLS uh, globally. Uh, the next one is scheduled to open next year in Barcelona and Spain, which is going to be the first one in uh, Europe, and we are very excited. And now let's start with our SLS here in, in Dubai. Uh, originally, by the way, the brand SLS um, coming out of US. Um, so the most flagship SLS hotels will be in Americas. Um, Beverly Hills, Miami, Los Angeles. We also have SLS hotels in uh, Mexico, uh, Argentina and Bahamas. Um, and now in the Middle East, which is the first one in this part of the world, and of course the first one in Dubai. Uh, quite new in the market, we've been open since April 2021, uh, so we are almost crossing three years timeline, and honestly it's been quite quite an amazing journey for us so far. We are a city property, so hopefully uh, some of you have been to Dubai and you know a little bit uh, the locations, uh, but we are close by to the main attractions in Dubai, which is um, Dubai Mall, Burj Khalifa, Dubai Fountain. So we are a city property. Uh, and this image that you can see here is actually the view that you are getting in the from the hotel. So we say that we have the 360 unobstructed views of entire city, which is amazing. The hotel works like a map, you know, you can really see um, entire city um, from as well as Dubai. Now, this is where we are on the map, this tall building, this is SLS Dubai. Uh, this canal here, this is the uh, Dubai uh, canal that comes through um, Business Bay area all the way downtown towards the marina. This is quite a recent development as well. Maybe take five, 10 years ago, it was not here. Um, location makes it very convenient to reach towards the airport because you might know that Dubai airport is located around 15 to 20 minutes away uh, from downtown Dubai. We have a, a, uh, we have a large um, highway just behind the hotel. So the position of our property makes us perfect for stopover business, uh, for city breaks, those clients who like to come for shopping, um, honeymooners, and of course, now we are coming towards the end of the year. Uh, you know that Dubai are very famous for the festive celebrations and the New Year fireworks. We normally have around 2 million people coming to downtown Dubai. We are an amazing property to be here on the 31st to see our beautiful uh, fireworks and to enjoy an amazing um, festive celebration. Now, SLS Dubai is quite a tall building. Uh, we are by now by far the largest SLS so far compared to the rest of our properties. We have 75 floors in the building. The whole building belongs to us and it can be divided um, into four parts. Now, the lowest floors all the way to 34s uh, are occupied by the uh, privately owned apartments. Uh, we don't manage that. That falls completely a separate team that takes care of them. Then the medium section, 35th floor, all the way to 56, we have the hotel service department. Uh, we have 321 units of those. And then the highest floors from 56 to 68 are for the hotel rooms where we have 254 units. So overall, we're taking care of around 575 keys that falls on the SLS hotel and residences. And then the top of the building, this part that you can see here, that's from 69th floor all the way down to 75th. We call this part the crown, and this is where we have all of the public floors. So lobby, restaurants, swimming pools are all located on top of the building. And then the rooms uh, below, it's quite an upside down concept. And you'll see here in the design of the building, actually it looks like a beehive. Um, and this um, design allows us to have, first of all, balconies in every room, in every unit that we have in the building, which is quite unique for such a high rise building. And apart from that, um, every balcony is uh, 45 degrees turned from the opposite balcony. So this gives you a lot of privacy and also 180 unobstructed views from your room, which is quite amazing as well. 
Uh, now that's just a quick slide to show you a bit about the art that we have in the hotel because as mentioned, you know, lifestyle properties are all about funky stuff. Um, does not necessarily this art mean something? The it's more the connotation of it is just, you know, it's to surprise you, to make you pause, look, uh, and also have your Instagrammable moment because yes, we are by far one of the most Instagrammable hotels um, and hotel brands as well. Like this uh, art that you can see here, for example, in the original artwork, um, she's holding a baby. For us, we actually call it a peasant and a purse. She's holding a Louis Vuitton bag. Um, this is the uh, logo of SLS Hotels, which is a very elegant Moroccan chandelier because as a brand, we are very elegant, very sophisticated. But if you look close by, you will see uh, tiny capuchin monkeys. Monkeys are one of the symbols of the brand because monkeys, they're very playful and a little bit naughty. Uh, and so are we as a brand. So in the artwork, you might see a lot of monkeys in the hotel because those are one of the uh, symbols that we have. In fact, when we were opening the first SLS hotel in 2008 in Beverly Hills, um, our designers, they went to the London Gallery of Arts and then they selected eight famous portraits um, of famous people. And then they basically like, you know, removed, chopped off their heads and they placed the monkey heads. We don't know why it was done, but like this, we, hold, we have the whole uh, army of uh, monkeys with the monkey general and for us here in SLS Dubai even our meeting rooms for example they are called after the monkeys um, in the movie uh, Planet of Apes so we have uh, you know, Albert, Cornelius uh, so it's very very uh, funky and quite uh, different so for us basically once the guests arrive at the hotel um, on the ground floor you will not find the main lobby you actually have the entrance you'll face this beautiful stained glass which will be your first instagramable moment and it marks the arrival of sls into the middle east it has a very famous uh, um saying uh, fortune favors the bold because we were very lucky to have opened the property uh in in COVID, but it was already the recovery of the market here um in in dubai in the uae and thus it was a very successful opening for us uh, and we have four high-speed elevators, and these elevators, they will take your guests straight to 71st floor, and this is where we have our sky lobby. Uh, these elevators, we call them high-speed because they move almost as fast as the one that you have in Burj Khalifa, that will be around seven meters per second. Once the elevators take the guests up, they will be coming here on the 71st floor in our beautiful sky lobby. This is going to be your first wow effect for your guests uh, the doors will open we have a lot of lights very high ceiling around 14 meters uh, big windows everywhere very spacious um, and very bright um, we are currently the highest lobby in the region uh, 300 meters up in the sky and of course that's why we call us the sky lobby this is where the guests will be doing the checking and then they will be proceeding down into their rooms. So as mentioned, we have a bit of an upside down um, concept here in the hotel. Um, and that's what makes it uh, quite different compared to other properties. So from our hotel rooms, we have 254 units of the rooms and the rooms are from 68th floor all the way down to 56. Um, all the rooms have balconies, and that's something very important for you guys to remember. It's quite a unique selling point for us. Here, for example, you can see our standard room, which is called Signature. Now, Signature room, now we have with three different views. You will be having Signature with a uh, room, uh, which is the leading room category, uh, with the Old Town and Maiden view. Then you will be having the signature room with the city view, which is Business Bay and partial Burj Khalifa. And we will have the signature room with Burj Khalifa view as well. That can basically guarantee for your guests Burj Khalifa view. The rooms are around 46 square meters. They come, can accommodate two adults and one child in the existing bed. And we are not placing any extra beds in the leading room category. But to be honest, overall, as, as a brand, as a last bit, a lifestyle, we are targeting more uh, honeymooners, couples, bachelorettes, you know, group of friends, maybe families that travel with a bit older children, teenagers. We don't have a restriction as adults only hotel. 
but we try not to promote ourselves too much as a kids friendly just because of the whole ambience and the brand in general. We don't have any facilities for children in the hotel. So we don't have a kids club. You do have all of the basics, like the kids, you know, food menu, the kids chairs, amenities, toys, but we don't have a kids club on property. So this is how the signature room will be looking like. Uh, all rooms will be coming with uh, a bus stop and a shower. Designer of Celeste Hotels is a very famous French designer, Philip Stark. So you would see a lot of, of his cool concept throughout the whole design in the hotel. So very minimalistic, but then at the same time, uh, quite luxurious, um, very common, pleasant uh, colors. We, uh, everything that we have at the hotel in terms of our restaurants and spa is owned by the brand. And even uh, in the rooms, we are using our own um, amenities. Uh, um, which are the same as our spa. So we're using our CEO uh, in-room amenities. Now for our hotel apartments, uh, they will be located from 55th floor all the way down to 35th. And we have studios, one bedroom and two bedroom apartments. Um, the apartments are hotel service apartments, so they go fully under our uh, inventory uh, with the only difference that, for example, being an apartment, you would have a fully equipped uh, kitchen and all of the apartments also have um, a laundry room where you have a washing drying machine. We have them on daily, monthly and yearly basis. And that would be more convenient for your guests, for example, who are coming you know, for longer lengths of stay or, for example, if it's a family uh, that comes with children, we always suggest to go for our two-bedroom apartments because the two-bedroom apartments, they will be having uh, one master bedroom with the king size bed, one bedroom with the twin beds, and then some of them also go with the uh, maid's room as well. So technically, they can accommodate up to four or five adults, plus we can place an extra bed there as well. Now the one bedroom and two bedroom apartments, we have them as duplexes or lofts, which means they will be coming in two levels. This unit, for example, here, which is one of our top selling units, and it's very famous and popular for couples and honeymooners. This is our inspired living one bedroom loft. So in the lofts, you would be having seven meters ceiling. And then the bedroom, as you can see here, is an open uh, style. Downstairs will be your kitchen, living room area, and the uh, powder room with the laundry room. And then upstairs, you will be having um, a bedroom with a uh, bathroom as well. Um, and this is very Instagramable unit. In some cases, when I have, for example, some honeymooners or your VIP guests coming over, we can book them in the uh, standard room, which is signature but then uh, give them an upgrade uh, to our beautiful loft. And that has been working quite well um, for our VIP clients. So this is how the loft would look like uh, from the bedroom and the living room area. Um, it's also uh, important to note that we are a pet friendly property. So our guests do travel with uh, pets. We are accepting uh, cats and dogs up till uh, 10 kg, so your smaller pets. Unfortunately, you cannot bring your pets into the swimming pool or restaurant areas, but you can keep them in the public floors and stay with them in your rooms. We do have a separate supplement depending on the length of stay and a bit of a cleaning fee as well for the pets. And we try to, yes, to highlight that uh, it's cats and dogs because, you know, in the UAE and Dubai, we have a lot of different guests. We uh, had a guest who was staying um, with us on a long stay and he was staying with a baby uh, monkey. He was a capuchin monkey. We could not say no, of course, because monkeys are one of our symbols. Uh, her name was Chiquita. She was uh, loved by all our guests but eventually they had to move out because she grew up and she was too much active, so they had to move to a villa. Um, now we're gonna talk a bit about our F&B uh, restaurants and outlets, which we have in general six, because you know, being a lifestyle product um, 
the restaurants is actually is the core. Um, these are not the rooms that drive most of the business uh, for the hotels and attracts most of the people, but our restaurants, because this is what actually creates the whole ambience and dynamic of a lifestyle product. Um, all our restaurants are located in the crown, so from 69th floor to uh, 70 feet. Uh, and we will start with our beautiful filia, which in Italian means uh, daughter. Filia is our Italian Mediterranean restaurant located on the 70th floor. The guests that you will be booking on breakfast or half board packages, they will be having breakfast in Filia and lunch as well. And then for dinner, they will have options between Filia or Carna. Filia is famous because we are the first female-led restaurant in the Middle East which means that entire frontline staff are ladies. It's all about the girl power in Philia. And we also have the youngest female head chef in the Middle East as well, Chef Celia, who is only 26 years old. Uh, we have been awarded twice with the Michelin Bib Awards as well. We're featured in the Michelin Guide, which means we have been awarded as the best uh, value for money. Filia has a beautiful uh, terrace overlooking Burj Khalifa. We now have a fantastic weather in Dubai, so all our guests are enjoying the breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the beautiful terrace. And in Filia, we also have our Saturday brunch, which happens from 12 o'clock all the way until 4, and is a very, very famous um, event. Um, and by far, I would say we have the best truffle pizza and uh, pavlova dessert at Filia. Now on the 74th floor, we have Karna and Karna is our fine dining restaurant. Um, Karna only opens for dinner, so from 6.30 p.m. onwards. And it's a steakhouse and a belongs to very famous Italian butcher, Dario Cicchini. On Netflix, you have a series called Chef's Table. And this is where you can learn in one of the episodes about Dario. He's not based here, he lives in Italy, in Toscana. Uh, we have carne here in a salad in Dubai and also in a salad in Bahamas. Um, and Dario is actually famous for um, cooking, as we say, nose to tail. So he utilizes entire beef when he cooks. That's why it's not just steakhouse, it's bistecria, because not only the good parts of the animal is uh, used for the steaks, for example, but we have other dishes on the menu like uh, soups and goulashes, uh, his famous uh, tartar, so he tries to be as much sustainable as possible. Karna recently just reopened after a small renovation. Uh, it's been quite a large space for us. We had 250 seating capacity. We reduced it now after two years. We made it a bit more intimate, only 60 people and a bit more upscale. And the rest uh, will be a new restaurant that is about to open mid of December. Uh, it will be our funky place called Tamada, uh, which is going to be an Eastern European concept. It's going to be a very posh restaurant, but then at the same time, it will be a bit more of a party, entertainment and performance uh, restaurant as well. So Karna will remain more as your intimates, perfect for you know dates uh, and corporate meetings uh, and one-to-one -one meetings as well. And then you'll have the mother for a bit more loud and uh, fun part. And Karna, by the way, is the only restaurant, you know, we have now this weekend uh, a big event, annual event that happens every year in Abu Dhabi, which is our Formula One event. So Karna is actually the only restaurant that has been featured and present at F1 in Abu Dhabi for the second year in a row. Um, and this year we actually, as SLS, have uh, three sports at F1. We have Karna inside the circuit. We are the only uh, alcohol licensed uh, restaurants during F1 inside the circuit. We also have a bar and the catering servicing on the tribute. And this year we also have our SLS VIP uh, yacht for F1 as well. So this is going to be a very busy weekend for us and uh, for the hotel. Now, 75th floor, this is like the, you know, the cherry uh, on top of the uh, pie. This is our rooftop floor. And this is where we have privileged nightclub and two rooftop infinity pools. 
This floor we actually call the playgrounds for adults. So we're strictly not allowing any small children here. It only starts from 12 years old above. However, we have a separate swimming pool, which is actually, it doesn't, it's not belong to us. It belongs to our residence. It's on the sixth floor. It, ha it has a proper family pool. So all of the families with smaller children, they have the access uh, to the pools on the sixth floor, but everybody 12 years and more. So the adults, they are able to access our infinity pools. 75th floor, this is 325 meters up in the sky. We do have the Guinness record for the highest infinity pools as well. And this is by far the best place to come to see uh, the sunset in Dubai. Also in winter when we have fogs, it's really beautiful because it looks like you are actually uh, in the sky when the fog is below us. Uh, Privilege nightclub uh, is a very famous place nowadays. Uh, we have nights, where the most famous nights are, of course, on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. We just introduced also a new nights on Fridays, and we're going to be adding more nights uh, as it comes. So it's your full-on uh, nightclub. The whole floor is actually 360 degrees. So once uh, the swimming pools are closing the operation at 7 p.m. for the guests to swim, we reopen as a lounge. And the guests can come up to enjoy the DJ, uh, smoke shisha, have cocktails with the, the most breathtaking view. Now for us, basically as a lifestyle product, we always have a lot of activations for our guests. We have ladies nights, we have pool days, we have a pool party on Saturday at Privilege as well. So the guests will be coming to fill up brunch and then they will be continuing with the pool party um, upstairs at the 75th floor. Um, even for our, for example, spa and gym, we do a lot of collaborations uh, for the fitness with yoga. Um, this weekend, we're going to be doing uh, boxing for our guests. We have yoga with the puppies. So there is always a lot of cool stuff happening. And you just have to follow us on our social media channels to stay tuned. Um, on 74th floor, where we have Karna, we also have a hidden uh, speakeasy bar, which is called Smoke and Mirrors. Very beautiful, elegant cigar lounge uh, overlooking Burj Khalifa. It's a bit more Latin vibes, I would say, Puerto Rican. Uh, cigars, old-fashioned drinks, uh, opens only in the evening from 5 o'clock onwards. We have a beautiful singer, Maria, who is amazing. It's a really good place to come uh, and enjoy um, some really great Latin vibes uh, with delicious food and a good cigar. Uh, S-Bar is our mixology bar that we have on the same level where we have lobbies. So that will be on the 71st floor where we have our uh, sky lobby. And S-Bar is a mixology bar. S actually stands for saints and sinners. So here in the menu, you will basically have uh, more fruity and less dangerous cocktails for uh, saints. And then a bit more heavy old fashions for the sinners. Um, also, we have some bites here, like sushi, tacos, a nice terrace overlooking Burj Khalifa. In the evenings, we have here live music, DJ. Uh, so sometimes when your guests will be arriving for a check-in at night, they will be surprised because we are not just your traditional lobby. It will be normally quite busy, especially on the weekend um, and on Tuesdays where we have the ladies' days. Alamia is our coffee shop that we have on the ground floor where the guests will be just entering the hotel and it's a more of a grab and go concept, beautiful pastries, really great coffees, a bit of a breakfast at Tiffany concept. And right behind it, we also have a convenience store. So it's a, a small supermarket. So, you know, for the basic groceries, um, utensils and everything, all of the small gadgets like charges, pool space, etc. Your guests can always buy it uh, on the hotel in our uh, little shop as well, which is very convenient. CL Spa uh, is located on 69th floor, and that whole floor is dedicated for wellness. Uh, we do have two beautiful terraces there as well. The ladies are more lucky because the terrace that we have for the girls are actually overlooking Burj Khalifa. Uh, and we are the only uh, spa which is actually allowed to have hydrofacial treatments inside the hotel because normally it's certified only um, for the uh, clinics outdoor. 
On the 73rd floor, we have our uh, meeting rooms, uh, our ballroom and meeting facilities, the great part again that is high in the sky, and our ballroom will be gone with a beautiful uh, terrace and daylight also. And then I have already mentioned to you about our SLS uh, crest, which is our beautiful chandelier with capuchin monkeys. And you know now that monkeys are one of our symbols. And we do have another very famous and common symbol of all the SLS hotels. This is our famous SLS duck. And uh, this was also created by our designer, Philip Starr, because he said that everyone lo loves the small, you know, the rubber duck that you have for the bus stop. So he created a similar version, but it's a way bigger one. Uh, here in the Celeste in Dubai, it's around six stones, so it's quite a big duck. And we normally have it in every SLS hotel by the pool. Now, what we do is that we invite local artists, and from time to time, they will be painting, and the duck will be having the, wearing different colors. I'm pretty sure now, close to the festive, we will be changing the duck to look more, you know, more, more Christmassy with a little Santa hat. Um, and this will be just, you know, another Instagramable moment uh, for your guests when they would be coming uh, to SLS. And I think this is all, yeah, it sums up more or less my presentation. Here you just, you can see all our texts uh, for all of our social media channels. Uh, we work a lot with entertainment industry. You would always see a lot of famous people come and attend the SLS Hotel. A lot, of course, will be coming out of U.S. because we're an American brand, so we are very well known by them. Some of them um, own apartments here um, as well. Uh, now, for example, Chris Brown will be coming for F1. He'll be staying at SLS. Akon, Will I Am, they are our regulars. Uh, Jason Derula. Uh, we work a lot with sports industry as well. Uh, football players, um, F1 um uh, we were, we are having for quite some time Ronaldinho staying with us from Brazil, a lot of famous Brazil football players. So you would always, you know, see a lot going on. Um, very trendy hotel uh, for the guests who are fashionable, who like to come to see what Dubai is about, but then at the same time, quite sophisticated um, and elegant. So that would be it from my side. If you have any questions. Thank you, Paulina. That's a beautiful hotel. Jeez, um, I can't wait to go stay there myself. It is very trendy <laughs> and it's very unique. And I love the concept of the reception being above the rooms. It's very interesting, very nice. Um, yeah. Guys, does anybody have any questions for Paulina? We can just pop it in the chat. So the only things that you also have to remember for us, again, being all about the high floors, the guests who are coming to SLS, they should be, you know, should have very good hat for the heights um, because we have a lot of outdoor spacing and we do have a lot of requests sometimes from the guests that are asking for high floors. Again, every floor that your guests would be having, every room would always have a high floor and a beautiful terrace. So a good view would be a must for them. Okay, great. I think I covered most of, of the details. So if we don't have any questions, then once again, hello? thank you so much. Yes. Hello, hello. Um, everything is perfect. Yeah, guys, if we have any questions, again, we can just pop in the chat. There was one that came through from Johnson Naidu is asking if the floods were bad. Oh, <laughs> you've heard about our rains. Um, you know, yes, that happens most of the time. Uh, and especially now, they are actually trying, you know, the rains that we have here, they are not natural rains. So most of the rains that we have are coming from uh, cloud seeding, um, which I've been living here now for almost 11 years. And the weather does change a lot uh, because of that. Um, it's the quite difficult to predict when it will rain. They can always tell us that, yes, the clouds are coming, but then we don't know when actually it will come. And normally after the clouds sit in, it rains heavily with a lot of thunder. You've probably seen all of the crazy videos uh, with the thunder, you know, Hidden and Burj Khalifa, for example. Don't worry, all of the buildings here are built specifically for that. So they are all kind of like thunderproof. But yes, 
uh, to answer the question, the floods are always very heavy. It will rain for one hour and then for us, you know, schools get canceled. People don't come to the offices. It's like almost like a public holiday because we don't drive as well uh, because the water level come up um, quite high. It does affect sometimes uh, attractions as well, like Dubai Mall. There were cases when there was a flood inside. For us here, the Celeste, thank God, everything went well. But of course, when it, the weather is like this, we have to close our terraces and it gets quite windy as well. But I think for a lot of tourists that come, that can be quite entertaining as well, because that's not something that you would uh, you know, assume to see being in the middle of the desert. But the floods here, when it rains, yes, they get quite serious. We all take out the boats or kayaks and start you know, to go to work on a paddleboard. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So basically talking about, yes, there's a question about how we control the public. So the privilege, for instance, our pools, they are mainly for the in-house guests. It's only during the low seasons when we are falling into lower occupancies where we are selling packages for the guests to go from the outside. But otherwise, on that floor, we have two swimming pools and we are keeping them just for the in-house guests. And that is only for the hotel rooms and hotel apartments. Now the freehold apartments, they privately owned, they have their own facilities. For the privileged nightclub and the lounge and all our restaurants, uh, people from the outside are more than welcome to come. And in fact, you will see that about you know, 70, 80% will be outside guests. Um, and uh, normally we suggest to everyone to make a reservation, a booking, uh, to guarantee your sports for dinner or for the privileged nightclub. But the swimming pools, the baths cannot be booked as well for the guests, for the in-house guests. That's basically first come, uh, first take the space. But yes, there are other times when it gets quite busy. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank normally, you very much um, for that. No, normally, a hack also like for your guests, I always suggest for the swimming pools, uh, come in the morning. So by nine o'clock, when the rest of the people are still sleeping, it's the best time for our uh, international guests to come and enjoy the pools and take good pictures before the pool gets too busy. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that, Paulina. If we have no other questions, guys, if there's any other questions, last one, put it into the chat. If not, then yeah, thank you very much for your time, Paulina. Again, beautiful hotel, very trendy. Perfect. Love the concept that you guys have done with it. Love it. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining. You guys all enjoy your day and rest of the week. And I hope to see you all in person one day here at Celeste in Dubai. Look forward to it. Have a great day, Paulina. Thank you very much for your bye, time. Bye-bye. Take care.